In this video, we're going to show you how to program an LED bar graph using Raspberry Pi. An LED bar graph is really just a compact array of LEDs, and they're commonly used for things like showing the battery life of a device, they're used with audio music equipment, and for industrial control panels. Okay, so the components we're going to need for this one are going to be our resistors, our breadboard, our T-connector, um, and the LED bar graph. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and place our LED bar graph. Basically, I'm using these little blank spots as kind of orientation points. So it's one, two, and then we want the furthest most pins to align with that blank spot there, and we want to connect these two. So I believe it is going to be... Okay, that looks promising. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and connect a bunch of resistors for every single one of these, so... Okay, so now it should just be connecting a bunch of jumper cables. So we're gonna start with the three volt. Okay, so hopefully we got everything right there. Quite a few wires, 10 resistors, but we will give it a shot. Okay, so now that we built out the circuit board, okay, so now we can execute our file, python 1.1.3 LED bar graph. Okay, so it looks like we got it working. Nice. So let's go ahead and take a look at the code here. So you might be asking yourself, uh, where do these numbers come from? And the answer is they are the predefined pin numbers on the Raspberry Pi itself. Um, they kind of get um, converted to these uh, labels here when we use the uh, T-board connector. But this over here is kind of a good representation. Like this is what it looks like on the actual Raspberry Pi. There's that 40 pin output. And you can see um, pin 11 here maps to GPIO 17, which we do see here. And then if we look at our actual device, it'll have the label GPIO 17. And so we kind of have to do that mapping for um, the rpi.gpio library here. And it's unfortunate that they're not like sequential, but that's kind of what's going on there. So say we wanted the light to start here, jump to the end, and then jump to the middle. We could do that by defining a pin 11, pin 24, pin 18. So we can do pin 11, and then we'll just remove some of these here. So now it'll start at the first LED, go to the last LED, and then come back to the middle LED. So there's three different functions here. Oop, three different functions here, and I'm gonna comment out the first two, and we're just gonna use this last one here that says all bar graph. And let's see what this looks like when we run it. And so that is with our, and so that is with our custom code that we just wrote. You can see it starts at the first one, it goes to the last one, and then it ends with the middle one. Then one other little thing I did was I just sped it up by an order of magnitude. I changed 0.3 to 0.03. I did that in each function definition and in the sleeper call down here. And then when we run that, that is what we get for our new code. So if you are interested in emerging tech around AI, 
IoT, Google Cloud Platform, then I'd really suggest subscribing to this channel because I'm releasing content around those topics regularly and you don't want to miss kind of new developments in these spaces and you want to keep your skill set as sharp as possible. Anyways guys, thanks for listening.